So here we are, Vale Farm Fisheries. This video is all about giving you an insight to what this fishery has to offer and how to go about fishing it. Down after work, we're going to hopefully try and get a few hours in just fishing off the surface on floating bread alone and see how we get on. So after walking around the lake, I've decided that this is going to be the best spot. We've got fish showing already to the front and we're just going to fish floating bread just off the island right in front of us and just over to the right hand side of the island so, not exactly what we expected to catch off the surface a little rud let's put it back in and try again two minutes later we are in i don't think it's very big but we're into a fish please don't be a bream So, as I said, not very big, but we're off the mark. Let's try and get some more. The fish have now really started to feed off the top confidently. So, let's try and grab a quick bite. So here at Vale, vale Farm Fisheries, this middle lake suffering a little bit with algae. So that the, the noise you can hear is the aerator pumping the air, pumping the water back in to the um, lake. Some rules on this lake also, you can only fish with maximum size 12, has to be barbless. You know, so over the last few days, I've been coming and I've lost a few fish at the net side just because of those barbless hooks but hopefully we don't lose any this time round. There's a lot of activity out there now on the swim. Ah, we'd missed that one. As you can see, I'm fishing with very, very minimal kit. I've got one rod, a net big enough for maybe 20 pound, and some bread. That is it. So as light as I possibly can, straight after work, get out, do a few hours. Straight back onto the spot there where we've just missed one. Yeah, they're already there, already got activity on it. The current setup that I'm using is the um, the Corda Bubble Float Medium. Uh, as you can see, I've got a fairly small rod. Missed another one. Yeah, the really confident now on top of that swim. So speed is key. So when I'm putting uh, bread on the hook, I'm just folding it around the eye so this point is still um, presented and that is how we're hooking them as they take it off the top it's a little bit short as what I wanted see if anything happens in first few few seconds if not we'll bring, bring that back in go again yeah rebate chuck it back on the spot so one thing if you're not happy there's no point just waiting for the fish to come on you might as well recast so to um, to the spot where you're happy and go from there let's try again perfect on the spot 
I'm not using any clips on the reels, just free casting. I think we've just missed one again. Yeah. So there's, there's a really strong head of carp in this, this uh, middle lake and you know, there's a big competition to feed. So once you get them feeding, it's almost just hitting the water and they're straight in after the bait. Let's try again. A little bit to the right of where I would ideally be, but they're around there, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, one's on the float already, on the bait. Missed it. So as you can see, it's literally, as soon as we put it in, it's really, really active. Here's a question. Do you use crust or not? Me personally, I enjoy using the crust. That's what's actually caught me some of the bigger ones. Yep, straight on it. Oh, I've come out, come back round. Missed it again, come on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it out there and let the float set the hook. Perfect again, right on the spot. Yeah, they're already there. On the float. Toying with a bit. can't get the hook hold on these with the 12 the size 12 hooks so yeah just literally stole the bait again I'm gonna try with a small piece of um, crust so it's not just ripping the hook out as they're trying to take the bread yeah it's still really active out there all sorts are showing Get this back out there, almost on top of it. Got away again. I also prefer to use uh, bread that's a little bit staler. This is very fresh, so it's still really soft. The fish are still out there. They're actually absolutely battering the bubble float. And we're in. Ah, oh, the hook pulled. It's the problem. Barbed hooks are not, not doing us justice. But at least we hooked that one. It wasn't a very violent take. Uh, nice and gentle, you can see it. Straight back out and we'll try again.
You can see there's fizzing just around the halfway mark as well, which tells us there's fish in, still in the area. Yeah, I'm, I, th I think the bait came off. So when I come for a couple of hours, I just tend to try and stay as light as I can. What I don't want to do is hump and dump all my kit and, and you know try and fish off the bottom and wait hours and hours for a quick bite or whatever it may be. I want to come in, set up. It literally took me two minutes to set up, got the net out, got the unhooking mat and we're good to go. Bait's come off. A little bit to the left of the swim. Yep, fish are straight on it though. And we're in. Again, doesn't feel huge. But we're in. It's a little, probably feels bigger than the last one. No, but at least the swim is now producing, which is what we really care about. So, yeah, quite a lot of violent uh, head movement which really tells you that it's not a big fish at all. banks here are slightly undercut so we want to try and keep it away ah, I think it's a nice little mirror nope common again yeah a little bit bigger this time around Let's see what it's gonna do it's ready for the net not quite Still not quite ready. It's really shallow here as well. So with the barbers hooks, I'm trying to keep it as high as I can, or the rod the line as tight as I can. Still not quite ready. I'll let it run slightly, tire her out. It's 
That's what I don't want to do. I don't want to lose this out of the net. Still not ready, not quite. And we've got it. Let's take a little look at this. Let's have a look at what we've just caught. So I've been fishing now maybe 45 minutes, second carp out, not too bad. Great condition. Let's put it back, try and get something bigger. Instantly as we put the rod back out and we're in again. Not very big. But that's why we come out just for a few hours, just have a bit of fun, catch some fish. Fish are still showing on the swim. This one's a mirror, uh, about the same, same size as the very first one that we had. So we're not gonna have a look at this, we're just gonna put it straight back. And then we're gonna cast straight back out onto the spot, try and get something a little bit bigger. That's literally taking me seconds to rebait and I'm ready to go again, straight back on the spot. Little flick to make sure the bubble's in front of the bait. And we're in. It's as, e it's as easy and quick as that. This one is now fighting a little bit more, kiting to the right. So hopefully this is a little bit bigger. The joys of fishing on this little rod, I can feel every little movement. There's not much head shake, so it could be a little bit bigger. It's not really come up yet. Don't really think it's, it's not really rushed off anywhere. A little bit, starting to pull it up and now, give it some, give it a bit of leeway, as I said. I'm fishing light, so I don't really want to lose this one. So he wants to run, I'm just gonna let it. As you can see, pulling, stripping line. Cool, let's have a look at it. So second fish, second all right fish off the spot now. Let's, if it stops wiggling around, we'll have a look at it. So yeah, not too bad. We might actually wear this one, see if we close the double figures.
Well, that's it, Terra's on the bank done. Five fish caught, all off the surface, floating bread. Here at Ville Farm Fisheries, get yourself down here if you want some quick, nice, good looking fish.